Hi guys, WordPress is the most popular platform for website creation, powering over 43% of existing sites. However, that doesn't necessarily make it the perfect solution for everyone. Some may be looking for a more beginner-friendly platform, while others may want one that focuses more on e-commerce. There are some excellent WordPress alternatives on the market. To help you find one, we've listed some of the best WordPress alternatives in no particular order. Watch on to learn more about these providers and find out which one will best work for your needs. And thank you for using the links in the description. So let's get started. The first one on the list is Wix. Wix is one of the most popular hosted website builders on the market. The Wix editor lets users create a website without any coding knowledge with its drag and drop feature. However, Wix has fairly limited customization options compared to WordPress, which can be a downside for those who favor greater customizability. Here is some of what Wix has to offer. Wix ADI. Answer a few questions, and Wix will design a website for you using its artificial design intelligence. While it's a convenient alternative to the classic Wix editor, its customization options are more limited. E-commerce functionality. All of the e-commerce plans include abandoned cart recovery and secure online payments. Plus, there are no transaction fees. App integrations. The Wix app market provides more than 250 apps to improve the site functionality. Customizable templates. Resize, recolor, rotate, all design elements. Wix is also one of the few website building tools that lets users create custom animations. Wix is a great all-in-one solution for those who are new to website creation and want to launch a website quickly. Besides, you'll not have to take care of hosting as Wix will provide it. This platform is easy to navigate, while WordPress requires more learning and takes more time to set up. However, its free plan includes Wix ads and a Wix subdomain. And once the site goes live, you can't switch to a new template unless you start from scratch. While Wix provides a free plan, you'll be assigned a URL with a Wix subdomain, so upgrade to one of the premium ones to use a custom domain name and access more advanced features. There are the website plans, optimized for personal and professional sites, ranging from $4.50 and $24.50 per month. Meanwhile, the business and e-commerce plans are optimized for accepting online payment, ranging from $17 and $35 per month. Wix is a great all-in-one solution for those who are new to website creation and want to launch a website quickly. Besides, you will not have to take care of hosting as Wix will provide it. Next we have Webflow. Are you the kind of person who likes to create websites where you have absolute control over the look and appearance of different elements on a web page? Webflow is going to be a great WordPress alternative for you. While you can create your own website designs from scratch in Webflow, there is also an option to use some pre-built free and premium themes for further customization. I'd like to mention that the granular control over all aspects of your website Webflow comes at the cost of a steep learning curve. This is probably going to be a challenge if you're a newbie. You'll be able to add different types of interactions and animations to the elements on a web page to make it more lively and interesting. The platform is optimized for SEO performance and allows people to collaborate on content creation. Webflow can be expensive, particularly for small businesses or individuals who may not need all of its advanced features. There are the site plans optimized for personal and professional sites, ranging from $0 and $39 per month. Meanwhile, the e-commerce plans range from $29 and $212 per month. The next one is Squarespace. Squarespace offers visually engaging and professionally designed templates as its main selling point. The WordPress alternative is one of the most popular site builders in the industry. With Squarespace, you'll get blogging features. Manage multiple contributors by giving them various access levels to the website. Squarespace also lets you host podcasts on your own site, not just embed them in an audio player. E-commerce functionality. Provides necessary tools for e-commerce stores, such as inventory management and abandoned cart recovery. It also supports the sales of digital content, subscriptions and services, such as online classes and appointments. Built-in marketing tools provides email campaigns, social media tool integration and built-in analytics. 
Squarespace Video Studio. Make and share videos to grow your business. Its features include adding branded elements to a video, incorporating smart voiceovers by uploading scripts, and a video resizer. Squarespace Mobile Apps. Edit and manage a site via mobile devices using Squarespace's iOS and Android app. You can also connect it with a Square account to sell offline and sync it with your online inventory. However, there are some downsides as well. The drag and drop editor is more section based, meaning you can't just drag the elements anywhere you want. It may take a bit more time to get a grip on this tool. It has a smaller number of templates and plugins and no contact versioning or auto save feature. Therefore, you will have to save changes manually. This hosted website builder doesn't have a free plan, but offers a 14 day free trial period. Paid plans start at $16 per month. Squarespace's minimalist templates work best when paired with high quality images. If your site is text heavy, it may be challenging to make the most of Squarespace's main advantage. Therefore, a CMS like WordPress may suit you better. Next, we have Shopify. Shopify is the ideal platform to use when launching an online business. It is a complete e-commerce platform with all the resources needed to launch an online business. Shipping and payment systems have amazing themes and a chill user interface. It's effortless to manage your products, orders and customers thanks to Shopify's user-friendly interface. Powerful marketing tools like email campaigns are there to assist you in marketing and increasing sales. Also, Shopify has a robust app store with a wide variety of third-party apps that might help you improve the functioning of your company. However, coding knowledge is essential to customize the website template. Shopify has no free version. There are three main plans starting at $32 a month or $24 if billed yearly. Shopify is currently offering a limited time deal of $1 for three months, in addition to their three-day free trial. Next, Blogger. Although having fewer capabilities than some of the other options on our list, Blogger is a great WordPress substitute if you're just getting started and don't want to spend a lot of money. Furthermore, since Google owns it, there is no chance that it'll vanish anytime soon. Blogger is an easy to use platform that suits bloggers who would rather focus on their content than the technical aspects of hosting a website. Due to its integration with both services, it's a useful option for people who are also using Google Analytics and Google Drive. Blogger is a free blogging platform You'll get free hosting and a free Blogspot subdomain name. Compared to WordPress, Blogger has minimal customization options and flexibility compared to WordPress. If you aim to create a custom website like an e-commerce store, Blogger may not be your best bet. Next, Google Sites. In the list of WordPress alternatives, Google Sites is yet another website creation tool, especially if you have to build a wiki page or a simple website. This is a suitable platform. It's free to use and easy to get started with, especially for those already familiar with Google's suite of tools. However, it's still not the best of WordPress alternatives as it has become outdated owing to new website builders being introduced in the market. As you can see, WordPress isn't the only great app out there. There are plenty of others, even beyond what we listed today. Some have features similar to WordPress's, others have a completely different set of features and functions. The point of this video isn't to force you to use something other than WordPress, it's to consider the other options out there. For some companies, sticking with what's familiar might be worth it, but for others, switching to a new alternative with tools that better suit their needs and goals can help them to build their business presence faster. Whichever tool you choose, we'd recommend trying the free version first, risk-free, and if you like it more, you can upgrade. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot. Thank you. And hopefully this video will help you out. If it did, please leave a comment and click the like button, that helps too. And goodbye for now.